Good day. Today we are going to be installing PyCharm yet again. So today I decided um, I would make my own installer and keep it updated as a lot of people tend to be uh, contacting me uh, when things don't install correctly. Uh, this way I can keep track of what's going on and since I use PyCharm all the time and weekly and daily sometimes, or most of the time actually, uh, I'll be able to actually fix those issues and try to get things working properly so everyone can enjoy it uh, going forward. I did a video on Pi apps and installing uh, the uh, Pi charm with that, and uh, I didn't realize it, but they actually mentioned me in the credits for that. So thank you guys, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Botspot. Um, I will definitely be reaching out and uh, giving a little bit of input on there. Anyways. I'll try to contact him or he can contact me. My info is in the description on my GitHub below. So reach out to me if you want. Uh, I don't mind helping. Uh, I've already played with uh, updating through Pi apps and getting the most current 2021.1 installed on the Raspberry Pi through Pi apps. But unfortunately, due to the limitations of the updater, once that happens, the updater wants to kick in and revert it back to the 2020. So with that being said, let's head over to the computer. Uh, we're gonna reinstall um, PyCharm on the Raspberry Pi, uh, and I will be installing it on my um, board back here. Uh, but with that uh, being said, this is the one I use for all my projects. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna wipe it clean, uh, not the whole system, just PyCharm, and then we'll go ahead and install the new version uh, with the installer script here. So here we go. So for those of you, this is the, the board right here that I was talking about. Uh, we will be continuing on with uh, um, adding on to this project here coming hopefully next week here. So stay tuned for that if we can stop installing PyCharm. All right, so we're ready to continue on here. The first thing we are going to do here is we are going to remove uh, our PyCharm install here. This you won't have to worry about if you're new to installing it. You won't have to do this part. Um, so I'm just going to go to cd opt ls uh, sudo rm rf uh, PyCharm. And that's going to remove that there. We're going to clear that. I think that's all we're going to do here. And then what we'll do is we will open up our browser here. So sorry if the, the color isn't uh, that great on this uh, one here. Hopefully you can read it. Um, yeah. So basically I'm going to just uh, sign into GitHub here. Um, actually, I don't think I even need to, do I? So I can just go to the link here. I'm going to post this down below in the description here so you can follow along here as well. Okay, so we have our PyCharm installer here. Now, uh, like I said, thanks to the guys over at PyApps, uh, um, basically putting what we originally had done into their code there and uh, a couple of updates there that made sense. Uh, and uh, yeah, so all we're going to do now is download the zip here and we're going to show in folder and I can delete those guys there okay so we have our file here now so I'm just gonna right click and extract here and then I'm just gonna close this out so like I said once again the uh, link will be in the description below here um, I will be contacting PyApps and hopefully uh, be able to help them keep that updated as well with new fixes that have come out. So right now we have no PyCharm on here so let's go ahead and get the new version installed. So we're going to go CD downloads and LS and then we're going to go CD oh. PyCharm installer main, ls, and then we're going to go sudo installer, oh, ok, 
Okay. Why isn't that working? <clears throat> Not sure why that execute was on nobody, but let's go like that. You might have to change the permissions there, so now we should be able to go like that. And now we should be able to install it. And this is just going to run through, basically do everything that PyApps 1 does. Um, I just changed uh, the file to get the 2021.1. Uh, and um, a couple other little things there to make the code work. Uh, so if this all works, we should have uh, all the updates and everything we need. Um, as far as the uh, shortcuts should be there and uh, yeah we should be good to go um, now I did like I said I tried installing this through and I, I used pretty close to the same code but uh, uh, changed uh, PyApps uh, uh, code there to install the 2021 version so this is how I know this way works um, but that being said, the patch version that I had done, I was so excited about that it was working. It was quick and easy, and there was no kind of um, messing about. You could update. Things didn't have to be changed all the time. Um, but as soon as 21 or 2021.1 came out, that I, it looks like it killed it because I tried for about three hours this morning here. Um, to get that going with no luck so unfortunately that didn't work um, as long and a few other fixes as well to try to get that to go and nothing was working so I was just like ah but I want to get this going for you guys because I know how much we all enjoy using PyCharm and well it would be nice to be able to have it uh, when it comes time to uh, do my projects here and have a working terminal since I did update it and the terminal stopped working again. And um, basically this was the only method I could get to work with it. And then it's just going to go through. So as you can see there, we got the 2021.1 getting installed here. Hopefully I did things all right there. Uh, like I said, you might have to change the permissions of that uh, installer file. I'm still new to GitHub. Uh, I don't know how to move those permissions over to it or if I need to add something to uh, when I do my install. Um, but anyways, if you know, let me know in the comments below um, what I'm doing wrong here. Um, I'm Yeah, as far as GitHub goes and coding, I'm not the greatest out there, but... You know what when it comes to pie charm i'm willing to uh get it going here so i will fight with it until we get it to go so we should almost be done here and uh yeah we can have a look and make sure once it's loaded up that we do have the terminal working and basically this should reload all our projects in that because all our folders should be the same Come on, you're almost there. Okay, now it's just applying the fix there for um, basically allowing it to run on ARM right now. Uh, so it's just going to do that, and then it's going to run a couple, the shortcut, uh, adding that to our, our menu here. Hopefully it works. It worked well on my, pre, or on my uh, main Raspberry Pi, so... I'm hoping this all works on here. Um, things could have gotten messed about, but who knows. Uh, I might have changed uh, a few things, but I will be updating. I will try to make things work better. Uh, but for now, this is uh, the only way I know to get this going. OK, 
Okay, so we can close out of there now. And we should have a link there and we should have a brand new fancy screen pop up. If all went well. Oh boy, look at that. Okay, now I'm going to close that. Got it. New code with me. And close that guy out. And I'm just going to let this do its thing here, and then I will open up Terminal. Okay, let's have a look here. Terminal. And there we go. We have working Terminal here. And we are on PyCharm 2021.1. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought it was helpful, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, thanks again. And you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, Ray. Eh?